It was exciting. We got a chance to watch the tree lighting, lighting happen right here in Hesperia. We got over to the Hesperia Zoo and got a chance to see the animals along with the lights and so forth. That was wonderful. And the exciting thing was is going out to cars with Carlos Sarmento. Uh, he just does an amazing job giving away the toys and, and giving away food to, to quite a few different members of the community. <laughs> I'm Eric Swanson. We're out here at the Hesperia Zoo. Now, did I get the name right? Yes, you did. All right, so I'm here with... Stephanie Taunton from the Hesperia Zoo. Now, Stephanie, tell me your role here. Uh, well, I'm the curator of the zoo. I run the zoo. So, tonight, and I don't want to hold this up because we have cars waiting to take this tour here tonight. Right. So, this is a night tour. That's what we're excited about seeing. And you, we're going right with the animals. Kind of tell us a little, a little right. bit about what we're going to be seeing. Right. Well, we have some holiday decor as we drive, and then we're going to drive as close as we can to the animals. Uh, and then we have some lights, some low lights for them, some colored lights. And then there's also a place that we can stop and feed the deer. Nice. Very good. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the tour, and then we're going to catch up with you afterwards. Perfect. Now, we're in the compound area here. This is part of the tour here. And I'm here with... Sylvia. Now, Sylvia, what is it you are involved? I mean, you, I've been watching you through the whole tour here. <laughs> feeding the animals, playing with them, and getting them to do all kinds of fun things. Yes, so I'm um, here on Compound where I'm a zookeeper here and also a tour guide. So I am, um, you know, learning these animals. I'm still relatively new here as an employee. Just been working here for roughly four months now. But, you know, you do get to have a bond with these animals when you're working here. Well, obviously you want to have a good bond with them because these are some very big beasts that we have here, strong animals that we have here. And so um, being able to have such a wonderful connection with them and having to be able to call out to them and them calling back out is a wonderful thing because I actually went to school for uh, animal science to be able to work with the animals. So working here really is an amazing opportunity. All right, so now we're at this point here, we're gonna go over here and you're gonna feed the Bengal tiger. Yes. So let's go ahead and go to that shot next because I'm excited to see that. Mm -hmm. Right. We're real good. Now, Sylvia, tell us what we have here. So this is Charisma, and she is our Bengal tiger. Hi, Charisma. Can you say hello? Ooh. And that bear is a chest, so she's saying hello. So that's a friendly sign. Good. So I like saying, friendly. Yes, very much. She's just saying hello. It's, it's a non-threatening way of saying hello, and we're friends right now. <laughs> good. Uh, friends is important when you have a cat that big. Yes, it is. Very Now, important. how old? Now, I do not know her certain, her definite age. She is rather old though. She is, we could refer her as a grandma. I believe she's around 15 or 17 years okay. old. Yes. Okay, wow. She seems okay. Is that the pacing good or bad? Yes, no, pacing is good. Pacing's she's good. Checking things out. She's like, who are <laughs> A nice little midnight snack. Well, no, it's not midnight, but that's what I call it. Yes, for sure. <laughs> exactly. Definitely. Wonderful. Well, very good. We're, this is nice seeing the footage out here. This is what we actually got a chance to see during the tour. And coming up close and in, in hand with this just shows how wonderful the animals are out here and how they're being treated. This is just amazing. Now, out here on our Christmas safari at the Asperia Zoo, I've ran across uh, Santa, also known as Nicholas Anker. And? My name is Kate, and I'm Mrs. Santa. And? I'm Sean, and I'm the elf. We have the elf with us. And also over here now, well, here they come because they know that they're going to be interviewed. We have some actors here. Now, these are not real reindeer. They're pretending to be reindeer tonight because what they are is? Uh, these are mule deer. Mule deer. So they're pretending. They're all excited here. Mm -hmm. So tell me, how many cars have come through tonight? This has been exciting for you guys, isn't it? Uh, yeah. This uh, We've had roughly uh, 20 cars come through. Nice. So nice. Far. Everybody excited? Everybody's excited to see Santa, of course. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Even in the parking lot. Well, so our, I know the cars, there's another tour that's going to be coming through here momentarily. Now, do they get a chance to stop, or do you guys come up to the car to talk to them? or? Yeah, well, they, they get a chance to stop and wave. They can take pictures, obviously, within the car. I'll come right, up and I'll exactly. hand out some candy, and we'll just wave, and they can just stroll on through and have a good night. 
Well, wonderful. Well, we're going to go ahead and be continuing our safari out here, but we just want to make sure we didn't miss catching up with Santa, Mrs. Claus, and the elf. The elf. So are you enjoying tonight? Yes. It's a little cold, isn't it? Uh-huh. Do you think it's cold at the North, North Pole, too? Yeah, very, very cold. Is it as cold as this? Yes. Very there you go. You've had it from one of the experts here tonight. Now, I'm back here with Stephanie. Stephanie, it was a wonderful tour. You can see it's pretty dark out there, yeah. but you you know you can barely see the animals. But I love what you did out here. So now tell me what the idea behind this was. Well, I think it, it came when we got shut down again, right? With COVID, we decided, well, how can we do our holiday? And the drive-through just seemed like the right thing to do. Because I know you do events out here for Halloween and some other holidays, mm -hmm. I believe. Yep. So Valentine, uh, we do uh, Halloween, and then we're going to be doing a Easter event too. Nice, nice. So uh, kind of give us a feel for what we saw because it's hard to see. Now, how many animals are on the, in the safari area? What would you yeah. want to call that? Well, I, I Compound, don't have a number. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Compound. Well, um, well, when we turned around and saw the ostriches, right. there's eight of those. Right. Uh, and some, you know, and, and when it's dark like this, it's th their choice to come out, right? Right. Some of them are like, no, no, it's too cold, and some are coming out, no problem. So it's totally up to them. This is not a switch you just flip on and no. they just kind of jump up and go. No, right. Like, <laughs> like uh, some people get cold and some people are okay with it. Right. That was nice going through and seeing, seeing I believe we were seeing some tigers through yes, there. Yes, we saw you the know? Ti tigers had no problem being yep. out in the cold. That's normal for them. Right. Now, we caught an interview of one, so yeah. that's we. it's important to get those in. Right. So, how many more nights are you going to be doing this? And uh, we're going to be doing it uh, two more weekends. Two more weekends, uh -huh. wonderful. So, how many cars are you? Do, you think you're doing it a night? You know. Well, we can do six cars per half hour. Okay. And we're doing about six tours. So wonderful. Well, I, I tell you what, I think you guys have really hit it on the button over here. This is important. You know, it's one of the things that that I sometimes frustrates me. This is one of the big secrets right. of the high desert that a lot of people do not know that this is Hesperia Zoo here, and it actually is here in Hesperia. Yeah. Now, how long has the zoo been here? Since 2001. Nice, yeah. very, very good. And when well, you get really close to the animals, I mean, that's a big difference in some of the other uh, facilities, and we try to do a lot of interaction, which you saw. Exactly. The keepers giving the treats out tonight so they get to come out and get something every time the car goes by. That's wonderful. Well, you're doing a wonderful job here, and it was a beautiful evening. It's a little bit on the cool side, but yeah. you know what? <laughs> That's what Christmas is about, right? That's true. All right. So anyway, we're back here at the Asperia Zoo here, and we're, you know, with Stephanie here, and, and the whole tour, we got a chance to go through the whole facility here. They're doing a wonderful job out here taking care of these animals. Hi, I'm Valerie with Cars Body Shop, Collision Auto Repair Specialist. And today you're here on location with our fifth annual Cars Body Shop toy giveaway. So we actually start this toy drive in July and we call it Christmas in July. And what we have you do is you come in and bring a toy and Cars Body Shop gives you a free headlight restoration. So you get something for giving as well. So we want to make sure that we keep that paint it forward. So we want to really show you guys what the community has done in coming together and making this toy drive so successful. So we're going to walk along and I'm going to show you guys all these amazing toys that we have here. Uh, the community has really came together. We have had so many other great people. Vanity Hernandez, who is an amazing woman who lost her child to cancer, but she wanted to come here and make sure that no other child goes without. So she was a huge part in this as well. The Marine Corps as well. Gosh, there's countless people. God's hands extended. We are just so grateful that everybody can come together and make sure that every child gets a gift this Christmas. And really that's the goal. So let's go over here and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the process. So we have all our great volunteers on this side who are pulling toys out, getting age appropriate toys, gender appropriate toys for kids, whatever they like, whatever is desirable to then we're trying to get and fulfill it um, each car comes up over here and each car has the name like a boy and the age on there and each of our helpers run through a pile of toys and grab for each car so that each child gets what they need so if you guys want to come over here in the front and we could show you a little bit about what we're doing Ho, ho, ho. There's Santa. Merry Christmas. <laughs> so 
here across the street, we have our San Bernardino County Fire. We have our sheriff stations, local police. We also have our Marines out here looking fantastic, handing toys, putting them in the car with kids, having a little conversation. It's really good to get the kids out to do this event. Unfortunately, we weren't able to go out like we usually do to each complex and give to kids in the lower income housing area because of the state mandate. But we're making this work. We're going to make sure that every kid gets a toy and every kid feels special. So that's exactly what we're doing right now. Each of these volunteers are getting these toys, safely putting them in the trunk so that there's not a lot of contact so everybody stays safe. Hi, this is James. Welcome back. I'm with Miss Vanity. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Can you please let the audience know who you're with and what your participation is with this organization today? So I'm with the Leandro Payan Foundation. I'm helping out Cars uh, this year, Cars Body Shop, with all these toys here. Um, so my son was battling cancer. He battled cancer, uh, I would say about, it, it's, he was diagnosed at the age of one, passed away at five a couple oh, years wow. ago. Um, so this is very dear to my heart to bring smiles to other children's faces. And are you a high desert resident? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And how many years have you been involved in this um, donation? Uh, this is actually my first year with CARS. I usually um, do a lot with the City of Hope Foundation, uh, City of Hope Hospital, um, just different hospitals in the high desert or down the hill with kids battling cancer. I appreciate your time today. We have a huge turnout. Yeah. God bless you for doing all of this. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hello, we're from Montana Extended, and we are a no local nonprofit up here that help the homeless, domestic violence, people on the street, helping to transition. We're not a church of religion, but we're Jesus-like, and CARS is one of our partners. So we are here to support with our volunteers, our, our professional, they're ready to work, and we're ready to serve the community. I'm with Officer Mumford with the California Highway Patrol out of the Victorville Station. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. You know, uh, we have a fantastic event out here. Um, please let everyone know what your uh, participation with the event is. Sure, the, uh, we're down here at Cars Auto Body. Uh, basically, they asked us to come down to help out with the event. Um, they've collected hundreds, if not thousands, of toys. They do that through a headlight restoration program that they run in July. Okay. Basically, in July, they say, if you bring us an unwrapped toy, we'll restore your headlights, make them look new. So they collect a lot of toys from that. Toys for Tots got involved. They donated a lot of toys. Um, so basically, right now, every year, they go from community to community, driving around, handing out toys. They were unable to do this that this year due to COVID, as everybody knows. So they set it up. They opened up the whole community to where it's a drive through event. So everybody comes in. They line up. They've got their kids. They've got all these volunteers here that go back and they grab the toys, bring them out, and people just drive away. Thank you very much, Officer Mumford, and God bless you and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Welcome, everybody. This is James with Mojave River Valley News, and I am with Mr. Newly elected, <laughs> Smitty Smith, High Desert Assemblyman. How are you, sir? Representing the 33rd Assembly District. I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. We're out here with Carlos with his annual toy drive, giving uh, toys to the needies in the community. And we want to thank everybody for all their help out here today. Now, when you were with uh, the council out here in Hesperia, you actually attended this event. How many times have you been out here? We've been doing this for many years. I was off the council in 14, so it's been six years. And Carlos has probably been doing this for about eight years. But before, this year with the COVID, we would go out to the community and deliver them into the low-income apartments and the needy that uh, uh, represented the, uh, the area. Okay, and uh, with the election just uh, concluding, uh, have you transitioned? Have you been in Sacramento yet? We've been up to Sacramento a whole bunch, got sworn in on uh, December 7th, come home that night because no one is allowed in the Capitol. But I do have my office and uh, committees. I'm on a budget committee, two sub-budget uh, committees. I'm the vice chair of toxic waste and materials, um, economic development and job creations, and uh, GEO, which is a government organization, which are some pretty uh, uh, good committees to be on to represent the district. Thank you, sir. And uh, last question, have you uh, appointed any or, or hired any local people on your staff? Yes, Dylan Luzovsky is my chief of staff. Our district office is in the city of Hesperia City Hall. Myself and Jay Obernolte from Congress, he transitioned from the assembly to Congress, will all be our district office in the city of Hesperia City Hall. Thank you for coming out. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all of you. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it.
This is Eric Swanson. At, we're at the Asperia tree lighting tonight. So if you notice, they just turned on the lights just a few minutes ago. We forgot the exact turn on time, but that's okay. You know, it's a wonderful night. We're going to interview a few folks out here and just see what this means to them. Now, Jean, you're part of the foundation board. I'm part of the foundation board. Tell me what this means to you tonight. Uh, this means to me it's one of the oldest events in Hesperia. And I believe it started at Walter's store and blocked, the big tree. I remember the big tree. Yes. Yeah, uh -huh. blocked off the yeah. whole street. Yeah. And. Um, it's, it's a Hesperia tradition that we all need to... Well, I'm glad we're doing it tonight. Good deal. Thank you, Gene. Oh, me too. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here with... James Roberts now, with you... Mojave River Valley News. Thank you. You know James from one of our, as being one of our hosts. By the way, congratulations. You were just elected to the Asperia Recreation Park District. That's yes. got to be wonderful news for you. It's a very exciting. The family and a lot of my grassroots community are nice. very excited. So what does this mean to you, James? You know, with everything that's going on with COVID right now, this is great that the community come out, we can have some buy-in. You know, we all can just fellowship together, so it, it's really good. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, I'll let you get back to your family. Wonderful okay. to see you. All Congratulations right. Thank again, you. James. All right. Now I'm here with... Jose Gonzalez. Now, Jose, you are the vice president of Hispanic Recreation Park District, correct? That's correct. So this is your event tonight. Yes, this is really good. I'm glad to see so many people coming out to this event. This is a yearly event that we do every every year. We get, usually get a lot, a lot, a lot of people come out to this event. But uh, this year, it's the, the, with the pandemic and everything, you know, it's it's a it's a bit changed. But I'm I'm still happy to see a lot of people out, you know, with, you, in the cold. You have your own program you do too. I go around and I shoot a lot of videos for the fifth community. My, uh, my, I have a little YouTube uh, uh, channel, JGKIX, and uh, I go out and I shoot a lot of videos for the for the community and the freelance for all the news stations and stuff like that. But uh, you know, it's 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 a community thing. It's one of the things that I, I enjoy and coming out and being part of the the community all the time. So wonderful. Is your family here tonight? No, they're oh, not here tonight. Oh, you uh, them like a rock. So. <laughs> yes, uh, but you know, I'm here to, to support the the community and uh, the city of Asperia. And uh, Hesperia Recreation Park District, and uh, you know, I'm just like I said, I'm just so happy to see you know the people come out in the in this, in this cold. Well, great! I'll let you get around and start mi start mingling around with your with the group and get your own shots. Sounds good, yeah. Eric. Thanks, Jose. Thank you, sir. Now I'm here with uh, Osby Montes, Mario Chavez, Dennis Sedgwick. Now they, you guys, are the magic that happens behind the scenes in Hesperia Recreation Park District, right? Absolutely. That's right. Nothing <laughs> happens time. without you guys. Is that correct? Yeah, we're so magical when we are stealth. <laughs> now tell me, what's this all mean to you guys tonight? Uh, you know, it's a great event to uh, have. I know we're going through a lot right now, uh, but at least it, we can have an event for the kids to come out here, be, at least see some, some lights and, you know, be able to just be outdoors and just, um, just you know, be able to get out. Excellent. Yep, exactly like that. I like the community. I like to be out here. Especially with Christmas time, it feels more family, um, enjoying the city of Vesperia. <laughs> no, I think that is a positive event for the community and uh, for the families to get out and just to exhale a little bit. Well, I'll let you guys get back to your routine out here, and it's, you know, it's good, to, good, good to have you guys. And you know, thank you for your service here. You guys are really what make help make the Vesperia safe. You know. Well, thank you so much. Good deal. That. Good deal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here tonight with Council Member Swanson. I've known you for a long, long time. A long time, Mr. Swanson. <laughs> so tell me, what are you thinking about this? As a, coming from, I mean, there's a council, there's the city's right there. Yep. You've been a council member. You'd, by the way, congratulations. You were just reelected. I was. So what does this all Thank mean you to you? The citizens of Asperia. Um, it, this is uh, an event that has gone on for so long, longer than the history of Asperia, longer than uh, before 1988. And uh, it's, it's good to have a, something that's in the heart of our community. This is uh, this park, our library, our city hall, this, this area 
is, is a central place to our city. And it's good to have something that warms your heart and that our community can join together. Excellent, excellent. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, you did clap on you. <laughs> I'm here with James Blocker. Now, or, James, what does this mean to you? Uh, this is the start of hopefully the end of what this country's been going through. Uh, Christmas is my favorite time of year. And I had to be a part of this tree lighting, just to be out oh, in I'm the community. So. Well, it's nice seeing a lot of the houses, you know, putting up their lights are very, very early. They were. And in fact, I'm one of them that put my good lights for up you. early. Good for so you. Well, good I deal. I it all set up. Well, I'll let you get back to your family so they can enjoy the event tonight. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Good Have to see good you, night. James. Now I'm here with... Nicholas Chavez, General Manager of Asbury Recreation and Parks District. Now, Nick, you are the new GM. You're the new man in town, I'm understanding. So I've, you and I have met before. Yes, we so, have. So tell me, and you know, this is part of what you guys are doing at the Recreation Park District. Tell me what all this means to you tonight. You know, this means just bringing everyone together. You know, obviously, I know we're in some pretty dire times with COVID-19. But at the same time, you know, we want to bring the community together. You know, we're also enforcing people wear their masks. And we've got a couple food trucks out here. We've got a couple community members out here as well. We've got a couple of dignitaries. Just about keeping the community together, keeping everyone safe, but at the same time, keeping the Christmas spirit alive. And one of the things that I always ask people, they need to wear their mask, because the hearing impaired can't understand this unless they see our mouth move. So that's one of the reasons I don't have it on, because I'm one of those, and so is she. <laughs> so anyway, this is a wonderful event. I, I, it's just nice that people are able to get out here and, and enjoy this. So, Absolutely. That is the absolute goal of today's event. You know, we just want to keep the Christmas spirit alive, especially during these dire times. Very good. Well, great, Nick. It's great seeing you over here, and I'll let you get back to the group. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Thanks. This is a great episode. You know, getting a chance to talk to quite a few of the, the folks that came out to the tree lighting and see what they thought it really Christmas was about for them was just amazing. Also getting over to the Asperia Zoo. You know, not very many communities have their own zoo. And Asperia, with them doing the Christmas lights and doing the drive through on that, that was just a wonderful, wonderful event. And then to cap it off with Carlos Salimento just doing his, his whole giveaway over there at Cars. What an amazing thing he does for the community. And I just think this just shows how important it is for our community, how they get together. Our community has always been a giver and you can still, uh, definitely see it during Christmas here. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications of our new videos.